Hi, my name is Lindy Jung. I am an author tuber and a writer of science fiction and fantasy and a little bit of horror. And I am so excited to be working with NaNoWriMo this year. They asked me to share some tips with you guys for the season because we're all in this together. I've been participating in NaNoWriMo pretty consistently since 2018. I have not won in a while, but because I have lost so many times, I've picked up a couple of tips to get through and hit that finish line, hit that 50,000 word mark, and I'm going to share them with you today. So here are five fast drafting tips to help you survive NaNoWriMo. Tip number one is to give yourself bite-sized writing goals for every session. And this can be anything, this can be word count, like you may want to hit that 1600 word goal by the end of your session, that is totally fine. For me, what works a little bit better and what feels a little bit more tangible than a number is completing a certain segment of the story. So this could be a scene or a chapter. If I sit myself down for a session and tell myself, okay, I'm going to write this fight scene from start to finish, it can be bad, but it has to be finished, then usually I'm able to hit that goal in that session. But if I sit down not really knowing what I'm going to be doing, then it's a little bit more difficult. Tip number two is to skip transition scenes or any other scene that gives you particular difficulty or might take a little bit more time to digest. Another one for me is fight scenes, but I can usually just map out the choreography or the beats and not worry too much about the prose during this initial draft stage. But for me, transition scenes are really, really tricky. It's just really hard for me to nail them down on a first try. Like I do need some time to digest the scene that comes before, the scene that comes after, where the character's at emotionally or any, I don't know, just a lot of stuff is going on with transition scenes, right? And I never want them to be boring. So what I'll do is I'll just write in brackets, transition scene here, and then I'll revisit that at a later time when there's less of a time pressure. So basically you're finding moments that aren't crucial to the core story that you can still write beyond and that might take a little bit more time to write well and come back to those later after NaNoWriMo is finished. Number three is to mostly ignore subplots during the fast drafting process. I don't mean ignore them completely, like you still want to lay down the groundwork, but really at this point what I tend to prioritize is the core story, like the core conflict, the core character arc, other stuff. I can flesh out later. I just want to get those beats down and I tend to find that if I have a lot of subplots going on as I'm writing that initial draft, I will get distracted. I will get distracted. I will chase that rabbit and it just becomes sort of a messier draft and a messy draft is more difficult to work with in revisions. It's easier to add strings than untangle existing strings, if that makes sense. Number four is chase the scenes you want to write. We all have those scenes, hopefully not too many because I feel like that's a sign that the story you're writing may not be as capable of holding a reader's attention as you would like if you, the writer, are sort of finding it boring. But we all have those parts of the book that feel a little bit like a slog. For me, it's usually like the beginning of act two that feels a little bit difficult to get through. This is where being a planter comes in handy. I usually have scenes or moments that I really want to get to, that I really want to write. Although I'm not usually a hardcore chronological writer, if I'm fast drafting, it is better to go chronologically. So basically I'll be writing through those scenes that I don't want to write to get to the scenes that I do want to write and just setting up those landmarks ahead of time, even if you're not fully outlining the book, is really helpful because you know when you're gonna hit that next beat that you really wanna write. Like that kiss scene, that fight scene, that emotional conversation, whatever it may be. And it just helps you keep up that steam. Tip number five and the last tip for today is if you're losing steam, stop take care of yourself and refill your creative well. I know this sounds a little bit counterintuitive to fast drafting, but I swear, you know, I'm always that person who will write like 20,000 words in the first week or so and then completely lose steam and not win NaNoWriMo. Like every year that person is me. I've been reminding myself this year as much as I can that this is a marathon and not a race. If you take it slow and steady at the beginning and you don't go too hard, you'll have more steam to reach that finish line. And you might have the extra steam required to, you know, write that extra 10K in the last week or so, whatever you might need. But yeah, don't go too hard or too fast, too early. Give yourself time. And I know this video is coming out week four, but hopefully that'll be helpful for next year. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I am Lindy Jung, and it has been an absolute pleasure. See you next time.